Okay, so now we're ready to install the uh, tubing and stuff. So what I've done is I measured um, from up here to the uh, coming out of my radiator. It's going to go into my top MOSFET block. And I'm trying to make it so it doesn't, I don't want it to hang out too much down here. So I want it to kind of like cut the top here up here. So I think I got it just right. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put the uh, compression sleeves on. On the compression things. And we should be good to go for this one. Okay, we got the tube installed on the top one going up to our radiator here. Got the compression fitting on there. Um, I hope it's secure enough. It looks secure enough. I got these tightened down pretty much all the way. So, it's uh, like we're on the next step. I'm going to get my uh, GPU block all squared away here. I got to put the fittings on. I'm going to have the Compression fitting on the top and then have one coming out the bottom right here. So I gotta switch those little plugs around. But uh, yeah, we'll do that right now. All right, so we got the uh, GPU nozzles on there now on the water block. Looking pretty good. I'm actually really happy with this block. It looks really nice. Um, so anyway, we're gonna mount that into the case. We're gonna have it coming out of uh, the CPU nozzle is going to go down into the GPU and then from the GPU it's going to go down into here and up into the reservoir. Um, I'm still kind of deciding whether I should leave the nozzle like this angled downward or put it on this side because how this is it's going to go down and I don't know if it's going to be able to make that sharp bend right there but um, I don't know, I guess we'll have to try it out and see and then if not then I'll just move it to this one uh, for now until I get my six, the other 670 then I'll have to put it on the bottom because then it'll be coming right here so anyway we're just gonna go ahead and uh, try that out okay and now I'm ready to attach my GPU to the rest of the loop um, I already got a piece cut out here and it seems to be the perfect size so what we'll do is put the uh, compression fitting collars on go ahead and slip this on It's looking pretty good. Go ahead and clamp those down. And I did have a little problem here with the uh, graphics card. I don't know if any of you have, would have this, but I have a sound card right above it. And uh, the uh, compression fitting barely slightly touches some t um, when I'm turning it down the uh, side. So what I did, I just put a piece of electrical tape in there. And it should uh, keep it from shorting out anything if it does. I don't know, but uh, just to prevent anything from happening. Okay, guys, next we'll do... Uh, bottom of the GPU to the reservoir. Okay, so we got the uh, <clears throat> tubing going from the graphics card now up into the reservoir. Now for the most tricky part, I've already started kind of measuring it out, but I gotta make it come down here. It's gonna go through here. My pump's gonna be sitting kind of sideways looking this way. It's gonna go right, uh, this is gonna connect right into the inlet. And we're gonna have the outlet go back to the back hole back there. So my opinion, this is the most tricky part because the pump isn't gonna be really you know, it's going to be in there, it's going to be really hard to uh, finagle things, but uh, I think I'll get it. I just hope I have enough tubing. I, look how much left I got. I got like another, probably about four feet, including this part right here. So, you know, I got to make the run all the way up to the back of the motherboard. So I hope I have enough. I should. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'll get it cut to size right now. I'm going to put the pump in the back, see how... Uh, See how it works out in there. Okay, we got the uh, tubing coming down from the reservoir here. I connected, it's coming down. Goes through the hole down and uh, into the pump there. Now I just love this tubing. It just works so nicely. Like it, it just bends and it's really easy to uh, form and go where you want it to go. So I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I went with this one. And uh, you see the whole loop here. But now the tricky part is going to be getting this back one on. I got to go from there to the back. It's going to go out the back. And I'm going to somehow going to have to put it up there. See, it's already, I already got it kind of measured out how long I want it right here. 
but uh, we'll go ahead and get that done, and we should be completed. Alrighty guys, I got the uh, last tube connected on the bottom of the pump there. With a lot of struggle, I got it in there. Um, a little difficult, but once it's in, it's in. Um, I have it kind of angled right now, but once I put the tube flat against the back, it will uh, make the pump stand straight up. Um, it's just kind of like a little bit of stress on there right now, that's why it's um, angled up a little bit. But I'll go ahead and show you guys the back of it, just where the tube comes out of. So it's going to come out, it goes up, and it goes right up in there, which is where the radiator is. It's going to be crushed up, it's going to push up more like this once I get it all wired up and all the cables are not so messy. It'll be more like that, and we'll go right up in there. It comes out right there, goes right into the radiator, and then comes out the radiator. To the MOSFET block, out of the MOSFET block, and the CPU, out CPU, into the GPU, out of the GPU, back in the reservoir, you know, then down again. So, uh, looks pretty complete right now. Um, I guess the next step is to fill it up and uh, see how it uh, does here. <laughs> Hope there's no leaks. Um, most things I'm worried about are these uh, swiveling adapter angles. You know, I don't know how well they're sealed on the uh, swivel, but, um, I don't see why they would make them if they leaked, so it should be good, I'm hoping. So yeah, next video guys, we'll be uh, filling it up, so uh, keep watching. I uh, just want to say something I forgot. Um, this is the tube, how much I have left, guys. This is about, I don't know, foot, foot and like three inches or so, and I bought 10 feet, so if any of you are looking to do a build like this where you're doing, you know, a radiator, a reservoir, CPU block MOSFET, GPU. You're gonna need, I mean, I'd say the minimum 10 feet. I mean, I, I'm almost ran out, as you can see. I only have this much left. So uh, just keep in mind, you know, if you're doing a loop like this with multiple blocks and stuff, you're gonna at least need 10 feet. So I used about probably a foot just for air. You know, I cut, I would cut and measure and cut. So probably used a foot just in um, trimmings and stuff. So. Uh, but this is what I got left, so I'd recommend at least 10 feet. Alright.